So how much does AI actually cost? Uh, if you've been using the OpenAI models, either via ChatGPT or the API, or you've been using the Anthropic models like Claude Sonnet or Claude Haiku, again, either via the Claude chatbot or via the API, you've probably seen that they cost some money. And that you've probably seen that the way they calculate how much money a given call costs it's pretty complicated. There's tokens and there's input tokens and there's output tokens and not all tokens are created equal and there's some amount of tokens you get and it somehow maps to money, but it's all very confusing and it makes it really, really hard to compare across models. Like what's it gonna actually cost for a given use case? And so what I found is the best way to figure out how much a use case is gonna cost is to just try it and see. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you how a simple use case of extracting an invoice, some invoice information from a PDF, how the cost of that compares across OpenAI models, GPT-40 and GPT-40 mini, and then three Anthropic Claude models, Sonnet, Opus, and Haiku. And for this demo, I'm actually gonna show you a really cool feature in Relay.app that makes it very easy to compare different models, both from a quality and a cost perspective. So here's the, here's the demo scenario. I have this actual invoice <laughs> from SendGrid that our company got this month, and you'll see that the amount due is $144.98, and the due date was September 1st. So we're gonna ask the AI models as part of a workflow if they can pull out that due date and that invoice amount and write it to a spreadsheet. So I have this relay.app workflow that whenever a file is added to the folder where that SendGrid invoice currently is, we're going to use an AI model. Let's start with GPT-40. We're going to use an AI model to extract the invoice amount and the due date. And then we are going to add a row to this comparing model costs spreadsheet, which we'll use at the end to see the, the, the cost differences. And so First, we want to make sure that the model gets it right. So they have to match the invoice amount of $144.98, and they have to match the invoice due date of September 1st, 2024. And then we're going to see from Relay.app how many AI credits they use, because we have a normalized AI credit system that works across all model providers. And then we'll convert that to an actual cost in cents. With that, let's get started. Let's do the first test. So the first model we're going to try is GPT-40. And the way I'm going to do this test is I'm going to start a test run with that SendGrid invoice. So it's calling the model. It's trying to extract those two pieces of information, the amount in dollars and then the date. Let's see if it got it right. Yep, in the spreadsheet, it correctly added the, the invoice amount and the due date. So we'll make this row open AI GPT-40. Let's see how many AI credits it, it took. Okay, so this cost eight AI credits and AI credits are 0 0.06 cents. So this cost about half a penny to do that extraction using OpenAI GPT-40. So now let's try it with GPT-40 mini. Now, in theory, according to what most of OpenAI has published, and in most cases, GPT-40 mini is cheaper than GPT-40, but it's not always the case. So let's see what the case is for this particular workflow of extracting from a PDF. So again, we're gonna start a test run. We're gonna use that same exact SendGrid invoice. We're gonna do the same exact extraction. We're gonna write it to the spreadsheet in the same exact way. We're gonna see how it compares, both in quality and cost. Okay, it's done. And again, got it right. Open AI GPT-40 mini. And this one was actually 12 AI credits. So kind of counterintuitively, it costs more than GPT-40, still comes in at under a penny for that use case. Okay, now let's compare the Claude models. First, let's start with Claude 3 Haiku. Again, start test run, same invoice. Let's see how Claude 3 Haiku does. Okay, looks like Claude 3 Haiku only used one AI credit but didn't actually get it right. So we're not gonna include it in, in this test. Let's try one of the more powerful Claude models. Let's try Claude 3 Opus. Okay, here we go. Claude 3 Opus, let's see how you do. Uh, 
Okay, Claude 3 Opus got it wrong. <laughs> Extracted the invoice information incorrectly for that use case and at a whopping cost of 138 AI credits. Um, so way more expensive, eight cents for that use case and unfortunately got it wrong. Now, let's try the last model we're gonna do in this test, which is Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Okay, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, got it right. At a cost of 26 AI credits, which comes in at one and a half cents. Okay, so here's the final rundown for those four models on this particular use case. Three of them did it right, GPT-40, GPT-40 Mini, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and Claude 3.3 Opus did not. Um, and from a cost perspective, GPT-40 was actually the cheapest, followed by 40 Mini, and then Claude 3.5 Sonic coming in a little over triple the cost of GPT-40. So is the point of this video to say GPT-40 is the cheapest model? or the best model? No, that's not the point of the video. In this particular case, it looks like GPT-40 is the best value for this particular task. But the point the point I'm trying to make here is that for your use case, it's really worth spending the five minutes to test it against a few different models, see which ones can actually do the job, and then at what cost. And then now that you know that GPT-40 is the best value for this particular use case, you can use it in your repeated automations. If you find that one of the other models is the best value for a different use case, you can use that in your automations. And our goal with a uh, related app is to make it really easy for you to figure out what the, might, the right model is for you to use for a given use case without having to worry about API keys or having to reconfigure the step a million times just to change the provider. So check it out, try it with your case, experiment with different models, see what makes the most sense for you. And as always, if you like this kind of automation and AI content, please like, subscribe below. And if you want me to do any more AI-focused demos or any more model comparisons, let me know what you want to see in the comments.